Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Obey Dangani once again. I'm back with another video. So, today I'm going to do a video about how I journal my trades, how I document my trades, the trades that I take every day on a daily basis, how I document them. So, as you can see, we should have a trading plan we should also be able to trade i mean to to journal our trades so that you can check whether the trades or the strategy that we are using is uh, profitable or not so you can go back and check how many trades did you take in a month how many wins did you had in a month how many losses did you take how much did you lose on what currency pairs did you lose the most which currency pairs were the most profitable ones guys a trade a trade a trading journal guys is very important guys so as you can see mine i started with mine in 2023 i started mine in 2023 as you can see here you can also head it here you can also add if you want to add anything or like okay let me see uh things like uh my your goals your trading goals your forecasts your task lists your task uh, list anything that you want to add man anything that you want to journal or you want to add you will just edit here you tap on this plus button and then it will bring up a new page so as you can see mine here is mine here is my journal guys so you have to start with the pairs a trading journal it has to involve pairs the date the time frame the day session order type lot size outcome reason for entry you can also add strategy if you like if you want you can also add strategy notes now this notes on these notes now those are just the feelings that you were experiencing when you were uh, placing the trades when you were placing those trades how were you feeling or what was the reason for your loss why did you lose or why did you win how was the trade image image you can just take screenshots from trading view and then you drop them here as for me i didn't drop them yet but i will just check i will drop them later but if i get them that is when i will drop them so let me just explain it in, in, in details now as you can see here pairs here are the pairs that we are trading pairs that we are trading guys hmm? the pairs that we are trading like usd cut these are the trades that i took in this uh month i only took three trades so usd cut you see aod jpy yesterday on the 17th aod jpy again today i ended some uh, trades again today but this one was a loss actually this one was a loss you just edit like this I lost due to what? Due to trading against the trend. Trading against the trend. The overall trend. So you can see, okay, date. Here is a date, is a date that you are taking the trades. For example, let me say USD card. We took this trade on the 12th, on the 12th of July, 2023. Time frames. This one is a time frames. The time frames that where you are placing your trades. This one is very important, guys. Time frames where you are taking those trades. And the day, the day is 
was it Monday or was it Tuesday or was it Wednesday or was it Thursday or was it Friday? Session. These are the sessions where you are when you are placing those trades. Hmm? When you are placing those trades, what session did you place those trades? As for me, I placed those trades in London session, New York session, and London session. If it is during Asia session, you write Asia session. Order types now. These are order types. Whether was it a buy or was it a sell. So you indicate it here. Lot size. These are the lot size now. The lot size, what lot size did you use? As for me, I use a one lot size. If it is a two, you put a two. If it is a five, you put a five. In this case, I use the five lot size. Outcome. This is an outcome of every trade that you took. This is the outcome of every trade that you took. So every trade that you took, there is an outcome. It could be a loss or it would be a win. It could be a loss or it could be a win. This one is very important, guys. You should include this one in your trading journal. Reason for entry. This one can... What reasons? What are your confirmation? It can, this can be a reason for entry. Confirmation. Also, it can also be confirmation. It can also be confirmations. What a confirmation did you get? What confirmation did you get? Or it can also be strategy. Which strategy did you use? In this case, USD card. I used, I waited for, there was a break of structure. Price pulled back into a demand zone. OB or POI. Then, that is when I ended after candlestick. A base, a, 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 Paris, uh, I mean, bullish uh, candlestick pattern zone. I mean, pattern at a demand zone. That was the reason for me to enter this trade. So, notes now. Notes, I will go through this one again. Notes is when, okay, what were you feeling when you were placing the trade? What were you feeling? Were you feeling uh, happy? Were you sad? Were you confident? Were you overconfident? Stuff like that, man. Were you not sure of the trade? Stuff like that. You should record them here. How you were feeling the time you were taking the trade. Or you can put it this way. You can also say, okay, why did you there is why did you win? You can write the trade, okay. Why did you win the trade? Or why did you lose the trade? You can put in things like okay. Because I followed my trading plan. Or because I stick to my trading plan. Or because I traded against the trend. I lost because I didn't follow my trading plan. Stuff like that, guys. You can put them here. Images. As I said again, images. You can just take a screenshot of a uh, trading view. And then you can drop it here. So next year or after five years when you look into your journaling you can check now what mistake were you making those years when you were trading and also the other thing is okay now let's go to, let's look at the benefit of uh, this uh, journaling the benefits of journaling trades number one you will get to see which pairs are more profitable for you which pairs are not profitable for you and the other thing is again, you will be able to trade to check a kucha. Okay, which time frames am I more comfortable? Which time frame am I more profitable? On day you can also check, okay, it can also tell you that okay, which day am I more profitable? Because you will go and check you go back and check now okay what are the days that are more profitable i mean i'm, I'm, I'm more uh, profitable let me say if it's mondays or is it wednesday or is it tuesday or is it thursday or is it friday and okay you can also be able to tell okay which okay uh what sessions am i more profitable 
what session am I, do I lose more? Other types now, we can check again. This one is also important. Other types now. Am I more profitable when I'm buying? Or am I more profitable when I'm selling? Do I lose more when I'm buying? Or do I lose more when I'm selling? Those kind of things, guys, we have to record them. They are very important. Okay, lot size. Now, this lot size, do I lose more when I use a bigger lot size? Do I lose less when I use a smaller lot size? Stuff like that, guys. Those are important things about journaling your trades. Outcomes. This one, you can check how many losses did you take in a month? How many wins did you take in a month? Then you count them and check, okay. Then from there, you will be able to tell that, okay, this strategy that I'm currently using, it is more profitable at what percentage? At what percentage? Let me say 50 or is it 40 something or is it 30 something? If it is below 30 something, guys, you need to get find a strategy that can give you from 40 to 100, guys. So, reason for entries, okay. Now, another important thing about journaling your trades is you will be able to tell, you will be able to trade to tell whether your entries you will be able to tell whether your entries are good you will be able to tell whether the strategy that you are using is more profitable or not you will be able to tell can i trust my confirmations or can i add something to my confirmations or should i change it or should I switch to another confirmations, guys? Mm -hmm. Those are the important guys. Those are the important things about uh, journaling your trades, guys. Guys, like the video, share the video, comment down below. If you want me to dig deeper into this uh, Notion trading app, or if you want to get a complete beginner setups for setting up this Notion uh, journal uh, trading journal guys comment down below if you wish me to release a video a tutorial about notion or how to set up the whole thing because this one is already set up so comment down below if you want me to uh, create a video about the whole uh, setup of notion so this is mine guys this is mine this is my whole page of where I journal my trades. You can also add setups. You can also add here, you can go at this plus uh, icon and then you put up something. You put up like, okay, you add things like trading setups for this week's or forecast for this week's or your trading goals or your 2023 goals. Hmm? Those things, guys, you can put them there in the Notion uh, template so that you can track them. You can just go back in the app and then you track them, guys. So for you now, how do you download this app? I mean, this uh, app. You just go to Notion.com. At Google Chrome, you type in Notion.com and then you download the whole thing. To your computer or to your phone the good thing about this one you can also use it on the phone you can also use it on the computer so guys like the video share the video comment down below if you have any questions regarding what i've discussed in this video thanks for watching bye